Sciencing with Master Hamster. Can you put the freeze on mold? Blurg. What we'll ask. Would freezing temperatures actually stop a mold monster or even just a moldy sandwich? What we'll do? Perform a scientific test to see if mold grows at temperatures below freezing. Got that? First, we'll need two sealable plastic bags, a teaspoon, water, a marker, ugh, and bread. The kind without preservatives works best. Next, you need mold spores. What are you doing? Hush, child. I'm sciencing. Mold spores are everywhere. So just rub the bread on a doorknob, a table, anything people touch a lot. I feel silly. Next, tear the bread into two pieces. Carefully place each piece in a bag. Add a teaspoon of water into each bag with the bread. Use a measuring spoon to put equal amounts in each bag. Use a marker to label one bag freezing and the other room temperature. I got this. You put the room temperature bag in a dark place, like a closet, and the freezing bag in the freezer. I was going to say zap it with a freeze ray, but you do you. This way, we're testing one variable, temperature, while keeping other variables like light and moisture the same. Um, did someone rub bread all over the doorknob? Leave the bread alone for a few days and let those mold spores do their thing. Then check the bags every few days. Write down or draw pictures of any changes you observe. Which bread grew the most mold? You should have your answer in about 10 days. When the experiment is over, throw away the bags without opening them because gross. Repeat the experiment with other variables. Light versus dark, wet versus dry, subatomic radiation, a shrink ray, or maybe a dimensional wormhole. Blurg. The end.